When I woke up today, I had um, I had one word in in my mind and in my heart, and that word was decolonization. For a long time, I have grappled with this word, and the reason why I have grappled so much is, in fact, because. I have been colonized, and many of us have. I think the word um, colonization, and by extension, decolonization, they're such loaded terms because a lot of the time people associate those words and there is a tendency to associate those words with issues of race, with issues of country, with um, issues of color. But in fact, we are not talking about any of those things when we use that term. We are talking about one culture being subsumed into the colony of another culture. And this is more about group dynamics. It's more about power. It's more about sovereignty than independent identity. So what I'm trying to say is that this idea of decolonization, the reason why it is so important is because it really pertains to our independence, our freedom, our unique signature as a free, liberated, sovereign being who is fully empowered to make decisions and to craft life as we choose. Colonization happens in so many ways. So we can look at it as something that has happened historically um, through wars and such. Um, we can 
also look at it as something that has happened um, as a result of certain superpowers coming into rising. And the reason why it really matters to me as a light being, as one who is guided by spirit, the reason why it's important to think about and talk about colonization is because when we are still colonized, we are unable to fully unlock the deep, wise, indigenous ancestry that lies within us and our genetic code. Our genome has been created as the result of centuries, even more than just centuries, thousands, thousands of years of growth and learning and change and evolution and intermarriage. And it is this information that we carry within our body. And there is so much richness in this information. The reason why I am advocating and why I finally feel ready to advocate is because as a result of all of the work that I have been doing with spirit and with my own body, with my own consciousness, with my own unlearning of the patterns and the programs and the thought forms that I've chosen to induct into my beingness over the course of time. Um, the reason why I feel finally that I need to speak about this is because as I have released all of this imprinting from colonization, um, call it, uh, call it, um, even colonization of my mind. Um, uh, as I have released it, Obviously, since mind and body and spirit and soul are all one, this has allowed a release, an opening, a peeling of the layers, you might say, a removal of veils and shadows, a removal of delusions which were preventing me from deeply connecting and tapping into my lineage, my ancestry, and all of the wisdom and knowledge and beauty contained therein. Um, this is one reason why I have decided to take my um, ethnic name now, obviously, the name Deborah is Hebrew and ethnically Hebrew. Um, but to me, um, ethnically, I guess, um, from that region of the world, the reason why I feel it is important to rename myself is because that name comes from a kind of colonization created through um, the control of religion. Now, religion and spirituality, that's a whole other <laughs> can of worms, which I'm not going to um, delve into too much right now, but I'm just going to say that personally, any kind of structure, any kind of large body of belief, any kind of organized belief system, any kind of um, 
whole system of thought and philosophy, such as organized religion, they all contain a lot of levels of indoctrination, a lot of levels of programming, a lot of energy. And the more people that believe, that buy in, that subscribe, that take ownership of that belief system as part of that identity of their own, the more power is fed into that whole system of thought, that whole um, organized program. Um, and so what I'm trying to say is that that is also a kind of colonization because anything that has been used by, um, by the power that it contains, anything that has been used for the power that it contains in order to, to help people to behave a certain way or to encourage us to behave a certain way. And that's the thing because we have all created this ourselves. We have created our own colonization. We have created our own belief systems and we have fed all of our juice into them to keep them alive. And this is something to really be accountable for our own individual work that was put in to keeping these things alive and to supporting them through their own existence. So it's not as, as though us versus them. And this is, I think, something that also can be triggering when we look at this word colonization is we think it's about us versus them, but it's, it's really not. It's about, it's about the energy that's contained within that which has power and the fact that because it has so much power, because we are attracted to power, because we want to ingratiate ourselves to power, we decide through our own free will that we will become that, that we want to emulate that, that we want to be that so that we can contain that same power within ourselves because it appears that that which colonizes, that which has a colony, that which is larger, which is stronger, um, which contains many instead of a few, we think when we perceive that, that that is superior. And so what I really wanted to tap into with this discussion was just an acknowledgement and a questioning of what do I do? What do I believe? What am I carrying? Who am I owning and who am I being? And what am I owning within myself? And what is coming from being owned by a colony, a colony of thought, a colony of belief, a colony of culture, a colony of nationhood, and by effect, a colony of um, perhaps color, a colony of ethnic identification, you get my gist. Words sometimes are not large enough to contain the energy of what needs to be communicated, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> and I thank you so much for coming along on this ride with me. But I just really felt like I needed to share this today because in my own process of decolonization, I have 
experienced a lot of fear of speaking, of being seen as an advocate, of even recognizing that I had been colonized. And this was coming from all sorts of wounds, wanting it to remain comfortable, not wanting to be too provocative, especially being in such a Western place and being surrounded by so many Western people. Because in our current day, we do have to acknowledge that the culturally imperial is definitely Western. <laughs> um, and so I think this is another reason why it's easy to shy away from such topics because we don't want to make it seem like we're blaming anyone. And obviously this is where personal accountability and acknowledgement of the far-reaching um, elements that are contained within this word colonization that's when it becomes really important to take a good look at what we mean when we look at that energy um, so that's my little prelude to um, an offering that I have for you I'm just going to call in Ganesh, who will support through this song. Here is an offering, a removal of the layers a freeing of mind, body, spirit, soul, from the many lives, many imprints, many histories contained within this being, within your being. This is a freeing. This is a choice to be sovereign, to be fully liberated, from all past oppressions, from all past systems, from all past patterns, from all past perception of inferior, superior, power, powerless, defend, attack, big, small. We remove this from our field. We remove this from your field. All the blockages are leaving. If you allow them to leave, they will fly into the heavens like offerings to the one source of all everything which does not see these boundaries, which does not seek to be anything other than what it is. You are God. You are source. You are power and light and beauty beyond measure not needing to be anything other than what you truly are, who you truly are, divine, pure, luminescent beingness. Allow all of these past chains, these past ways of structuring yourself in order to be loved, liked, accepted by that which you perceive to be more powerful, allow it to fall away. Kaya Nahiya 
kaya na ya ni ya ya hi ya ya na hi ya 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 ke ya 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 na hi ya 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 kaya ya ya na hi ya 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 nga 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 ya 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 na hi ya 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 nga ya 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 na hi 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 ya 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 hi ya 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 na hi ya 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 hi ya 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 na 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 hi ya ya we say goodbye we say goodbye we say goodbye we say goodbye we send you to the light outside this physical being we send you to the source of our everything we distribute this density into all that is so that it may exist in equal nimity and so it is thank you so much for listening i love you